So, because this chapter is not over yet, this video will not end until chapter 1 is done. Even if that means this video is about 2 or 3 hours long, that is how long it's going to be. Just, just to be clear, I've finished off chapter 1 of uh, Your Turn to Die, and I haven't finished off chapter 1 of this, so my plan is that uh, I finish chapter 1 of this, then I will go back to Your Turn to Die, and then I will go through chapter 2, and then I will probably continue on chapter 2 of this game afterwards. So here we are back and I don't know what we're doing right now. Um, I need to turn down my music because it's it's still really really loud for some reason. Um, oh yeah, our beloved died. And I think we're gonna go to trial now. Um, um, wait, help. Uh, okay. I guess I just gotta talk to people, right? Hey. Before we start searching for a circus killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. Oh, uh, what do you mean by that? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area around you. After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't like having to think anyway. Y yeah, your, your your brain is like minuscule, Mondo. I I I apologize to break it to you, but that's how you're coming across to me. I'll let you guys figure out who killed a chick. The fact you just called her a chick. Smooth. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. Okay. <laughs> well, no. We can't just leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteering for guard duty, you're in a position to destroy, destroy all the evidence you want. <laughs> Fuck you! So then. Fine. Then I'll stay there and guard duty as well. That way, there is no problem. Do you play a guy who bets the names of the two of them with this? Do you play a guy up? <laughs> Thank you, Hifumi Yamada. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. But... Uh, I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Um, so I guess that's all of them? Do I really want to... Let's do it. I don't need to place my hand on Janko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... Yeah. There wasn't anything else to say she was gone. I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Me too, honestly. Huh? huh? Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Just wait a sec. She, she, she's dead. That, that means that means everything that's happened so far is, is real. It's not, it's not a joke or whatever. It's, it's really real. Oh, hell no, man! Hell no! Someone save me! Let me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? He You're just now accepting that? Yeah, kind of catch up here, right? <laughs> Jesus. Um. Well, I haven't even talked to. I haven't talked to Taco and Hero yet. All right. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. Wait, wait, wait. If we find out who did it, then only that person dies. 
<laughs> so, in a way, that is similar to your turn to die then. Because finding out who did it is similar to voting for somebody. But if we get it wrong, then all the rest of us face execution. What the heck? What's that? What's what, what, that's that? That's what that ridiculous school regulation said, right? So stupid. Mm-hmm. So we're really gonna try and find out who did it? Uh, apparently so. Oh, Jiro. What should I do? Someone got right in front of us. <laughs> Jiro is the last person. If she goes, I am done with this. So wait, what else? Oh, oh, Celeste. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so, so you found it unnoticed. What the crap? Notice what? <laughs> I was looking through the monochrome file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? Well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Go ahead, take a look. Was there anything interesting about where? Ah. Uh, I mean, okay, it's in the bathroom. <gasps> yeah. I mean, here's the thing. All of this could have been avoided. All of this could have been avoided. If we just sort of... Even though it can be looked at in a certain way, if we slept together, and maybe, not even me being on the bed, but me being on the floor, even though it's the most uncomfortable place to sleep, at least it wouldn't be seen that way. And that way, she wouldn't have died, right? <sighs> she, she's right. So, even though someone was apparently targeting her, maybe that, hmm, what if I was the bait? What if I was the bait to get her to get into my room to then kill me? So basically, I was the target all along, but they wanted to bait her into my room. Mm, I, 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 don't, I don't like all of these implications. Then, could it be? Well, one sec. Uh, <laughs> of course. Hold on a second. You got it all wrong. For just one night, I I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just just tell us the truth. Damn. Complete 180. Feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words. Right. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our investigation soon. At this point, we should really split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Saka. We have to, we'll have to collect clues to form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. This is gonna be... F fun time. If we get this wrong, so... Well, do I really have to say any more? Actually... I'd, I'd rather you didn't know. Goodbye. Everyone pray for good luck. With that, Kirko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. Okay. Yo. Yo, I'm on guard duty, right? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, yes, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now. If whatever son of a bitch did this right here, right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, you're fucking dead. They better not let me find them. I'll skip this trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I'll fuck them up. Okay. So um. I mean, we're not exactly detectives or anything, you know, but. And we're just gonna investigate a murder? How do we 
even do something like that, hmm? Anyway, we don't really have to do anything in particular, but we already know who killed Sayaka. Of course you think it's me. Um, exactly what are you implying? Whatever your name is, because I keep forgetting. <laughs> this is Toko. Very suspicious. It, it, it was you. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Don't come any closer. Are you going to fucking kill me next? So, um... Ooh, well, I, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for, for sure that Makoto is guilty just yet. Um... That's true. We might as well just check. Just to... Just, yeah. We might as well check. Just to check. Just to check. Yeah. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help but... I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Well, wait, why not? <sighs> I'm not good with b blood. Right. All it takes is one glimpse and I black out. Right. Oh, yeah? Oh, whatever, dude. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. <laughs> okay. A little much, Leon, but kind of understandable. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You have to hear me out. But it was pointless, everyone had left. And it passing looks at me has still been filled with suspicion. Does everyone think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they've all, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something. Otherwise, everyone will. Execution is electric chair. <laughs> mm hmm. I can't let that happen. Kind of things turn out the way Monica wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Saka. Yeah, this is all. This is a job all for us. Nobody else but us. I guess I could. I should check. I. Sh I guess I should look through the Monogamy file we got before. The victim was Saka. Uh, okay, time of death is estimated around 1:30 a.m. Well, it wasn't 3 a.m. because that'd be even worse. The body was discovered in Mukara's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen. There was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth so that we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. As to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Okay, not sure how much I'm looking forward to the whole like investigation part of this, as the game is now really starting to begin. So I guess, uh, you know what, let's save it again, because, and I guess it's time to, well I was going to say it's kind of time to exit, but then we go, oh, we've got these people, and you know, I don't really care about Hero, I'm sure he could add maybe a bit of value to this but again our main girl right now right now is Shihiro aren't you going to help me that was me aren't you going to help me investigate Shihiro um but, but I, I can't leave jungle here I feel so far can't really feel sorry for someone that's kind of gone. I mean, I get why, but you can't really... I... I have to stay with her. Fair enough. Well, I guess it's time to leave then. Yes. Oh, right, okay. Oh, this is, yeah, the gym entrance. You know, I... Sh we should... We, we, sh yeah, we should actually go back to the, uh bathroom, right? Just to investigate a little bit more. I should head to the scene of the crap. See, me and myself are in the same wavelength here. <laughs> we won't make any progress without investigating. Dude, I was gonna do it myself. How fucking dare you take control away from me, you fucking... This is something that I just dislike a little bit about this game. How? takes control away from me. But it's fine. So I headed to my room where Sarkis 
corpse still remained. Well, I'm glad that nobody has uh, cleared up the evidence. Okay. Right, yeah, of course, people would be here. I don't know why, but I just thought that I would be here alone. I don't know why I thought nobody else would be here. It was obvious that people were going to be here because this is the scene of the crime. I better examine the state of my room a little closer. Might reveal something new. Ooh! Samurai. Did she try to protect herself? This is the replica of the sword I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in self Probably. And plus... It's been taken out of a sh... Mm-hmm. Hadn't actually looked at the blade itself till now. Sh shouldn't be surprised it's coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off of parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of its coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little... I don't like how things stick to you. Replica sword has been added to the... Okay. Well, we've got cockies here as well. Key on the ground. Has my name on it. Yeah, my, my room door. If I remember correctly. That's right, we have to trade keys. When we switch rooms, then we switch keys too. <clears throat> In my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then... How did the killer get into the room in the first... I mean, obviously she locked the door. The only way would be Monokuma, because he can just easily teleport into your room on a whim, out of nowhere. Unless someone else here is working with Monokuma and has a key themselves to every single room. Or maybe they can teleport, but I don't think that they can teleport. So the only thing I can think of is Monokuma. Even though, well, even though he says that, oh, like, that's the one thing that he would never do. Can you really trust that, though? Because I have forgotten to... I don't, I don't think so, because she was that afraid she would have locked the door, so I don't, I don't think so. I mean, it doesn't seem impossible. It's very, very unlikely. No matter who it is, don't open the door. I mean, okay. You did say, don't open the door. You didn't say, keep it locked. Yeah, you never actually said, lock the door. So maybe she didn't lock the door then. Maybe, but then again, she, she would have just used her initiative and just locked the door anyway, right? Even if there was no direct command from us to ask her to lock the door, right? After saying that, there's no way she would have forgotten to lock it or open it, or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. I mean, it's possible, I guess. Stop saying it's not possible. Stop saying it's impossible. Like, of course it's possible. It's just somewhat unlikely, maybe. So I was in here when we switched rooms. And with how scared she was, she wouldn't have gone walking around so she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer switch rooms? This is just a roller, so it's nothing important. This is just connected to the sword, so there's not really anything important, but let's just look at it anyway, I guess. Replica of the sword. Ah, uh, yes. Taken out, so it's just a... Some scratches on the sh... Must have been made with something... 
Oh. Was there a message that she was trying to make with the sword? How did she get scratched up in the first place? Wait, the sheath got scratched up? Or the floor? Because it doesn't look like the sheath has any scratches on it. Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. Does it even look damaged? Okay. I mean, if you're going to attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. Yes. A heavy, a heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It, should, it could just slide her off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on... Again, you're apparently noticing the scratches on the sheath itself. I don't... I, I couldn't really notice any. Sh right, okay. Scratches... I can't notice any scratches though. I can't. I... Unless they're like very, very minuscule scratches and I just can't notice them. I just, I don't, I don't know about that one. Ooh, we've got a tablet over here. Is that hers? Ooh. It's still here, but I don't think it's relevant. Fine. What the hell is this? Display sand. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, table. Okay, well, it's toppled over. So, there are scratches and gadgets on my walls and... Evidence of a struggle. It looks like there must have been some kind of fight in my room. Damn it! I was right there in the other room. If only I heard something. Wait. So then it must have been silent, but how can a fight be silent? A fight would not be silent, because everyone would have heard it, or the, the people closest to you would have heard it. So the fight was silent somehow. That would not have been possible. Huh? huh. Don't you remember? All of our rooms are completely... Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Of course, of course. So it's like, it's like space. Nobody can hear you in space, so nobody can hear you in here, because it's complete. <sighs> so something could have happened in uh, the room right next to you. There's no way you could know. Well, perhaps this was another one of Monica's strategies, creating an ideal setting for murder. Evidence of a struggle. H hang a minute. I clicked on the table though. And apparently I clicked on. Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Oh, so. I'm not actually clicking on the table, I'm clicking through the. Okay, well, let's just talk to Sakura then. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty too? I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply do not know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Fair enough. Whatever decision the rest of you come out with, I will follow your lead. I see. Alright, Mondo. By the way. You know, I realized something while I was on guard duty. The killer could have uh, could have already destroyed some evidence, right? Before anyone found the body, I mean. There's a trash room. Here in the dorms, right? They could have just... Probably. Yeah, that's definitely really possible. You son of a bitch! That dirty bastard! Ugh, shit. Anyone who raises their hand to a woman is scum. That does deserve... Uh, that deserves death. That's what my brother taught me. You're fucking dead! So if I'm ever gonna find a son of a, son of a bitch that did this, I'm gonna pan his goddamn face. Yeah, yes, we, we already know about this, Mona. We already know about this. What if it was a girl that did it though? Uh, um. Yo. <gasps> that would uh, all get sorted up when <laughs> time time. Uh, okay. So. Here we go, Kaoko. What do you have for us? Hey, Kaoko. Finally called her name while she was investigating the area. But. 
What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no, not really. I'm searching. <laughs> okay. Searching? I am not used to Makoto's voice. I am not used to it. It's kind of cute in a way. Just not used to it. She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my room. Did you lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be con concentrated pretty hard on it. Interesting cutscene, I will say right there. Um, we don't really have anything else to investigate in here, right? Unless, oh, the bed, okay. okay. It's like someone attacked it. What the hell happened here? Okay, actually, let's go into the bathroom. I already have. I can check out the spots later. <sighs> what else do you want me to look around in here? Huh? What else? What, you mean this? Because I already tried this. No pad. Okay, not relevant right now. Well, okay, well, what about the camera then? Surveillance camera. Mastermind must have been using them to keep an eye on the, uh, yep, okay. They don't do anything to stop us after and just keep on watching. Okay, what about the monitor then? One of the monitors... Okay, I... Door then. I should check the... I have! Unless... The drawers, right? Toolkit is still inside the drawer. I don't see any evidence that's been used at all. Which makes sense, I guess. I mean, it's mine. And I haven't had any reason to open it. Can't even imagine a situation where I need to... Need a toolkit like this. Yo. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Oh, my dog. What? We ain't exactly what? in the mood to be building fucking furniture, right? So you haven't used yours yet? Wait. They can hear my thoughts? I thought only I could hear my own thoughts. I thought... So wait, am I... So, okay. When I'm investigating around, people can actually hear me investigating? I thought it was just my own thoughts, you know... Why am I speaking out loud so everyone can... Alright. Nobody's busted theirs out yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. By the way... None of you guys have opened their toolkits yet. Because, like, why the hell would we? Right. Well, um... Can we go into the bathroom yet? Actually, I'm gonna... Well, first of all, just before absolutely anything, we're right. just gonna save our game. There we go. So, bathroom now? <sighs> Alright, everybody, I'm back, and I apologise for that little tiny bit of a glitch just then. Um, something came up. And I took a little bit of a break, but now we're back, and I... I know for a fact that I've talked to all three of these people, and inspected every single item. I don't know what else to do. Okay, let's go over to here, I guess. So scratches, gadgets on my walls and bed, okay. Struggle, okay. It looks like... What? It said this before, right? So, uh, so some kind of fight in my room? Mm -hmm. If anything happened, there's no way. Okay. Strategies, crazy and ideal for murder, yep. So what do I do now? Right, let's go ahead and go to hair... Maybe not, um, uh, F1. Okay, so, truth, review evidence, could try that maybe? Truth bullets, okay, so, Monokuma file 1, the victim was Sagama uh, Zono, time of death is estimated, let's go, let's look at it, shall we? So, time of death is estimated to be around 1.30am, the body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory, okay. Uh, bathroom, cause of death, stab to the abdomen, 
Her right wrist appears to have been fractured. Okay, so... Wait, E? Oh, so E goes into the next one, okay. So, there are a number of scratches, uh-huh. Took this from the gym, okay. So, it's just relaying the information that's already been told to us. In a sort of way. On the night of the murder, treasure rooms. So, yeah, again, we're just reviewing information that we already know about. So, those, yeah, that's the, yeah, the... Ray... Report card. Okay. Let's go into my profile. Okay. Good to know. So let's go to Sayaka. Wait, one out of two. Okay, so I could have done that on Makoto actually. So the thing that I remember about Makoto most from junior high school was that crane got stuck in our school pond and he helped to get it free. Right, so, Makoto. Oh, it's only one. Oh, dang. So let's have a look at Kyoko. Of course, it's going to have unknown ultimate because why the hell would this game give me any sort of uh, answer just yet? Wait, what was the list? Damn. Wait, hang on, hang on. Okay. Interesting. Why is it only for Saka then that we get two pages? Is it is it because we've spent the most time with her? Is is is, is that why? That seems to be the um ordeal that I'm getting from this. Yeah, pretty much. It's because I've spent the most time with her, that's why we've got more information from her. Okay, regulations then. Actually, how many regulations are there? Ten. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate. Class trial. Actually, I just thought, when is the class trial? Because shouldn't the class trial be... ...happening? And why can't we leave yet? I should check the room first of all. We've already checked the room. Okay, can we go in here yet? I should look around here first. I can I can check. Wait, actually, I just realized. V? I kind of forgot we could do that. So. Wait, seriously, no, please, 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 for the love of God, don't tell me I've got a... Don't, 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 don't. Look at the limb roller, looks like there's way less. Okay. This is how I can see how dirty my room was, decided to clean up a little bit. Oh. Oh. Wait, cameras. I'm, I'm really, I'm trying my best here, um, okay, so scratches, so have I checked everywhere, game, do I have to check the cameras, actually maybe, did I, did I check the cameras before, I don't know, surveillance camera, that's the mind, okay, so I must have, okay, can I go into here yet? I hate you game so much. Much, much, much later. What are you, isn't it? I'm, I'm searching. Search. Did you lose a con? She just suddenly stood up, Shane so said. Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so. But but what? Why don't you glance around my room one more time? I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I expected. <laughs> Is it because of the lim oh like it's 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 
the one object that I thought was going to be of very, very, very little re relevance or importance or significance to this entire thing. But no, of course it's going to be the most important thing to this. Okay, well, very unusual, do it. Unusual, what do you mean? So... I've such a floor from corners of... Uh, okay. Didn't uh, find one single strand of... Okay? Really? Indeed. Not one hair from the victim, not one hair from... So what you're saying is... <laughs> it wasn't a cat fight, is that what you're saying? <laughs> that, you know, cat fights are usually... When people pull their hair out when they're fighting, I guess, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but is that what you're saying? That either there just wasn't a fight, or... You know what, even though you've been living in here, you know, now that you mention it, I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the... L <sighs> because the Lint Rover have some significance, some relevance to this whole entire thing. Yay, I love this so much. But I never touched it. Could someone have used it? To? Do? Something? I see. Fairly interesting, indeed. Your room didn't have a single hair in it. And someone used your limb roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. I'm gonna bet. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna bet that it was Monokuma, you know, doing his bit, maybe. Was it Saka? Or the killer? Or maybe Monokuma? Possibly. Well. That's the question, isn't it? Rightio. So, um, okay, you know what, I'm gonna save it, because, like... Because. So now, now, can we go in here? The bathroom. And the other, on the other side of the store... ...is the bathroom. <laughs> is her dead body. No, I can't ever get to me. I mean, I've been some time away from this game, so <laughs> this doesn't affect me as much. I mean, my emotional attachment towards this game is lessened because of um, this. I mean, I've still got your hero, of course, but because of this, my emotional attachment has lessened. I'm not saying that it's completely gone, but it's lessened. But, uh, yeah. That happened. Can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to, pu to, 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 to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. You know what? This... I'm sure there can't be spoilers, surely, right? I mean, at this point, I mean, if there are people who haven't played the game, then, I mean, kind of understandable, but at the same time, you should have played the game already if you play games like this, I guess, maybe. But, um, this reminds me of a certain character from Doki Doki Literature Club. That way, that way it's not spoilers, right? Right? Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. I must admit, I don't know if I've talked about this before in a video, I'm pretty sure I have, but uh, the soundtrack in this game is like really good. I mean, obviously we've got, you know, the usual soundtrack of just, you know, looking around, roaming around, talking to people, but just soundtracks like this, and the soundtrack of talking to Sayaka. Just, oh my goodness me. Because they're not used that much, makes it even more impactful. At least, that's how I feel about it anyway. She had lost everything that made her... Her... Saka. All at once I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. I can't. I can't hesitate now. You've got to let yourself... Feel. I know that... Technically you've got stuff to do, to find the killer and all that jazz. But you need time to... Feel. 
You can't just wallow it all up just so you can, you know, do your tasks. Even if doing your tasks is a coping mechanism to distract yourself from it and to get away from it, you still need to feel because it happened, because she was so close to you. Why? Why does Saika have to die? Why does she have to die first? Of all people, of everyone, why does she have to die first? Why? I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. Yes, I mean, we've already discussed it. We, we've already went over this. Like, I think maybe once or twice. So yes, yes we do. I wanted to give up, I wanted to collapse, but that thought held me up and supported me. <laughs> um... Well, um, being in the bathroom is... Exciting. Do I really need to inspect the body? Okay. I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but but now's no time to think like that. Put out the monocle in the file to verify what it said about her body. Sharp objects have been thrust into her stomach. Well, so, I mean, it's an abdomen, but that must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where did they even get it? Reasonable question. That's definitely something I should look into later. Also, according to the monocle in the file, so I was right. Wrist is broken. Ow, oh, that's nice. There's something sort of glittery there on her wrist too. I don't know why. I don't know why, but I kind of just phased that as like gold blood. I don't know why my brain done that. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. Okay, yes, I, I see what you mean. Thank you for pointing it out. Again. That definitely concerns me. Another thing that concerns me is... There's some blood on her left index, but that's it. So... Maybe... It's possible that... She got some blood off of the killer, and that and that tiny bit of blood gone to her index finger. That's my theory, anyway. The palms of her, both of her hands are totally spotless. So how come only her? Again, it has to have been something from the killer. The killer is most likely probably injured, which would be pretty awesome, actually. Psycho's wrist. Okay, nice. Stab wound in her stomach is what killed her. So when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier. So, the wrist breaking is probably a form of torture. So she was tortured, possibly to give up information about something or someone. And when the killer gave up, she, uh, she, he, he whoever, stabbed her. And, well, here's the thing, did, did they stab, stab her, and then place her into the, no, it can't be, no, because you, you see the blood on the wall, so, they did stab her in here then. So maybe sh she was tortured in here, and then the killer just gave up and just, Maybe. <clears throat> I mean, how would her wrist get broken after she... Wait, 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 wait. I thought you were saying it happened earlier. As in... The... Wait, did I read that incorrectly? Did I... did I read that as the wrist got broken earlier or the killing happened earlier? I... 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 Okay. So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. Wait, I can only look at that you're confusing me. So, one minute you're saying that the broken wrist happened earlier. 
Then you say that the broken wrist happened afterwards, and now you're going back to what you just said before. This, 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 this is not going good, my brain. Nikola attacked a psycho in the main room, which is. <laughs> that, that, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. After that, Nikola corner trap. That's exactly what. Well, my, well, my two theories were either the wrist got broken as like a form of torture um, in the main room, and then. Uh, yeah, again, cornered her in the bar's room and then probably just like, yeah, gave up and just... Well, not really gave up, but... Sort of like... <sighs> was, they were just like, oh, fuck this, I'm just gonna fucking... <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Where they inflicted the deadly wound. Well, alright then, so, yeah, that's all we can do in here. Okay, let's leave. Hey. You look pale. Blue, almost. Yeah. However. But the fact that you didn't just pass out earns you a few points at least. Well, <laughs> um, here's, here's, here's the thing, Kyoko. I passed out earlier, so I didn't really need to pass out again. <laughs> I just kind of felt that pass out right now. That, 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 that's all. I have to find out why Psycho died. So I have to stay strong until then. Did you happen to notice the wall? Yes, I did. The, the wall? I. Makoto, Makoto, please don't tell me that you did not notice the wall. Please do not tell me you did not notice the wall. I know that you're a young boy and all, but come on. Um. I'm guessing she's talking about the blood on the wall, right? Otherwise, I actually have to, I, I don't know what she's talking about. Because I only noticed the blood on the wall. Indeed. Make sure you take a look. That's where she left. <gasps> no, I did notice that, actually. I did notice a tiny bit on the wall. So that's what she was saying. Right, so, okay. I'm gonna go back in then. Here's the thing, I didn't realise that we could inspect that. I thought the only thing that we could inspect was her. Well, okay, we've got this now. <clears throat> Don't tell me we're going to move the body, right? I look past Psycho to the wall behind her, and there I saw it. <sighs> now, that's either a code, or it's a name, and... It kind of looks a little bit like Noel or Noel Noel. I well, I say Noel Noel because well, Noel is like N O E L and Noel is like N O E L L E. But I know that in like other accents or other countries like America, people pronounce. Noel as Noel and Noel as Noel, so it's a bit confusing sometimes. <laughs> but that looks a little bit like Noel, just you know, sort of upside down. Because you can see the N at the beginning, and it, it, it's like a little bit of a you know a bridge. It's, a, it's like a faded bridge, but you can sort of see one there. But it looks like it looks upside down. Other than that, it could be one one zero three seven. But I think it's upside down, so it might be Noel, Noel, or L You guys. <laughs> What's backwards for Noel, or Noel? Leon. Of all the fucking characters, of all the... Actually, for now, for now, for now, we're, we're just gonna... We're just gonna leave the thought right there. For now, at least. What? Written blood. Numbers. Yeah. That's what you think they are. But, I, yeah. I've I, I already figured it out. I've already figured it out. 
Does Saka do this? <gasps> That's the question. Did she like? Uh, was she how like was she still alive after she got stabbed, and how long was she still alive for? And that's her blood. I mean, it could either be Cyprus or it could have been the killers. But then, then again, why would the killer? Why would the killer reveal that? Why? There's no reason to. So it has to have been Saka, right? Okay, well, we got that at least. It would seem. It looks like you found it, right, Makoto? Um. Dying message. Let's go for that one. Well, we might as well do both of them, right? Because that's what the game wants us to do. So, yeah, we'll go for that one. What do you mean by dying message? So... There's something a victim writes before they... <sighs> do I even need to read this? Because I already know this. Generally, uh, whoever writes it doesn't make it totally up. I still think Saka wrote it, because I think the faded part in the end was her trying to complete that, but, but wasn't able to, so I still think it's Saka who wrote it. Then I'll either write it somewhere a uh, killer wouldn't notice, or write it out in code or something. Which is why to us it looks like a code. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Hey. Have you ever heard of... I have not. Ellery Queen. Who? Ooh. Oh, never mind. Okay, well you know what, at least I can say that I've progressed now, rather than being stuck in this tiny spot for ages. I hate being trapped. I hate it so much. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh... Um... Oh, right, right, because there was... Obviously because there was two reactions, and I only did the one reaction, and it requires me to do both reactions. Okay. Right, here we go. Bloody numbers. Never seen something written in blood before. It was really a... It really was her first uh, part for final message. As if it wrote it itself. It's as if it... It's as if she wrote it with life, it's... Uh... Okay? Right. That's sort of what I was going to question as well. Do you often talk like an inspiring poet? But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 11037, which is not really what it is, but I have no idea what it could have possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was still sitting the way we found her, it means she must have wrote them by turning only her hand toward the wall. Okay... If you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? Um, no, please do enlighten me, I guess. The, the, the result? Well... Think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, but you, you're not going to tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. Otherwise, the case will end and you will remain unconvinced. Okay. I don't know what you're trying to say, but it's obviously you're not going to tell me. Okay. Well. Sounds like Karako knows what uh, die message means. I mean, I also know what it means. So, Makoto, you can't. I think I need to catch up a little bit, but I know that I, I understand, I understand you're a little bit young, I understand, and you have some time to, you know, brain yourself up, but it's fine. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I don't know who to talk to. When it comes to numbers, like, who better ask them to... Our girl, Chihiro, hell fucking year. Makoto. That's one other thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know how the door to your bathroom got... I mean, Monica Mer has said it that it's always been like that. I never really questioned it, but I guess now is the time to question it. Broken? Oh, uh, do you mean how I get stuck? What? Get stuck? 
yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just, you know, blocked. But once you learn the trick, it happens no problem. Bathroom door frame. Okay. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring to the. Okay. That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just by, just, just, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see right away what I'm talking about. I did what Karko said and shut the bathroom door. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, we've never actually explicitly gone to the bathroom, like, you know, game-wise. Story-wise, I'm pretty sure that Makoto's probably gone to the bathroom, like, I don't know, a few times, maybe? But game-wise, we've never actually gone to the bathroom, so we've never needed to, like, open or close it. I'm pretty sure, at least. Huh? A doorknob. What about it? What? What the heck? The doorknob is practically about to. F oh, so that's what it means by. You can even see it. You can even see the. Um, 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 metal plate sort of falling off. But here's the thing, I never really clocked that as being broken, I just thought that was part of the design. <laughs> so my bad. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver or something similar to unscrew it. I mean, obviously, probably the killer, right? Because they probably... By the way, they, 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 uh, but apparently according to Makoto, the toolkit wasn't used? But it's possible that... Uh, unless the killer used their own... Actually, no, no, no. It's obvious that the killer used their own toolkit to do the thing. And because, somehow, we know, kind of... It's not confirmed, obviously, yet, but we know there's Leon. It's possible that he uses... Uh, Screwdriver from his toolkit to unbolt the screws. That's my theory anyway. Whatever it was, it's obvious that it was intentional. What? It was intentional? Why, why would someone want to do that though? So. I guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing. Un. But isn't the. Girls' bathrooms, the only ones that are locked, and the boys' ones aren't, so that doesn't... That, no, no, that doesn't make much sense. You're saying get the door unlocked when it's not even locked, it's just, you know, got the door knob, so... What did I just say? What did I just say? <laughs> she stood there for a while, doesn't <laughs> Then apparently, stuck with a sudden realization, she so just a question to me. Just a second. Okay. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Uh huh. Did you do? Did you tell anyone about? The only person I told about it, I'm pretty sure, was Sayaka. I didn't. The only other person that knows about it is Ma Monokuma, but only because he helped me. Even though his presence was, like, unnecessary, but he helped me. But apart from that, no, nobody. Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're, so you're, what you're saying is, you, only you and Sayaka knew it? No. <laughs> Technically, kind of, sort of, maybe, yes? But again, also Monokuma, in a way. Mm -hmm. Hmm, interesting. She had a slightest hint of a smirk on her face. Got a sense that she was really starting to get into all of this. I see. Then it clears that up, then. Uh, clears what up? I'm, I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. As if forgetting I was ever even in there, but she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay. Nice. I still don't really understand any of this, but... I've already given my room a good 
one so far. Maybe I should look around somewhere else. I should look. I should start looking into where the metal weapon might have come from. I should look into the DVDs. Fuck yes! Have we finally doing this? Fuck yes! For Saga Dead, I have no choice but to see for her, for myself, what was in that video. And on top of that, I'm sure that there are some other areas but I mean, yeah, I'm sure too. Maybe I should see what everyone else thinks. If they'll even talk to me, there is. Oh yeah, I, I, oh yeah, I... Because I've been away from this for a tiny bit of time, I kind of forgot that people think that it's us and nobody else. Okay, well, awesome. So I'm guessing we go to the uh, AV room, right? To watch the DVD, right. Um, do I... I'm on to you. Right, here we are at the AV room. We're allowed to go in there, right? We are, okay, good. Good, 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 okay. Do we have the DVD with us, or did we... Did, wait, 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 did, did we have to take... Did he, please don't tell me that we had to take the DVD, and we have to go all the way back. Please don't tell me. It's a DVD player. Nice. Did I, 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 it's, it's telling me that I forgot to take the fucking DVD. Wait, what, what, whoa, um, 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 this is Psycho's room, my brother. And Psycho's, wait, my room has Psycho, wait, the, Saka's room has my name in it, and my name in it has Saka's. My 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 room has Saka's name in it. What the? F this is definitely my room, but the name player has Saka's name on it. The name player's in my. Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. So all that effort I put into switching rooms for anyone knowing was But who switched them? Cause I was thinking maybe the killer switched them. I oh this whole thing Oh it's oh it's creeping into my brain. But why would anyone do that? Okay. Can I go into it though? Okay, good. Right, we have to Oh, uh, why can't I why can't I wait, why can't I um Isn't the Do I wait uh um Wait uh, Unless, hang on a minute, is the... Oh, the, the... 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 It's in here, isn't it? It can only be one thing. It's... I don't know why I thought it would be in my room. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, well. Um... But it might be worth checking it out anyway. I'm sorry, Saka, but I need to borrow this. So wait, is it still in there? Okay, I, th I think I've taken it. Okay, good. I understand why you're saying it, but you can't. You don't need to say sorry for borrowing it when she's no longer around. But I get why you're saying it. Also, I know that we are at this point, but <laughs> I am going to be taking a short little break, and then we will get back into this because, I, as I said at the beginning of the video. This video will not end until chapter one is finished. All right, everybody, it is now time to watch the DVD. So just simply sit down and watch the DVD, right? I should be able to use this to see what... Hell yeah! The DVD they say I could have treated through in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the... Okay, thank you for that lovely uh, fade out music. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then...
okay. So, something that we've seen before. An image slowly appeared. It looked like some kind of concept. And standing on stage front and centre was a face I recognised all too well. Mm-hmm. Sayaka. She was there along with the friends she had been so important to her. She was positively glowing there in front of the crowd. So full of life. Seeing the image made it even harder to accept. That she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken and then... The voice I'd come to despise so fucking much began to flow out of the speakers. Sayaka Maizono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world famous all girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then. Scream went dark. Next moment. Okay. <gasps> Wait, all of them are... I don't really know why I expected anything different. But then again, with the other videotape for us, there was nowhere... There, there was no one... Uh, there, 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 there was... There was... No one to be seen anywhere. So the fact that there were bodies here. What the? Saga disappeared from the stage, which is now in ruins. But I noticed even more than that was the figures on. I like how. <laughs> Something that I don't really like about the writing in this, it's, it's, it's the, the writing is sort of like, you're telling people what you can't see, rather than telling people what you can already see, this sort of the writing that I don't really like, because it says here, yeah, the figures of the other girls who had always simply collapsed, we can see that, obviously, we can also infer that the girls are probably, most likely, unconscious, maybe even dead, even though it's just a still image and it's not moving, like, we can infer that. We don't need the writing to tell us this. So, it's just something about the writing that I'm not au okay fait with. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. For Sayaka, there's simply nowhere for her to return to. Is this why... I was gonna say, is this why... <laughs> is this why Monokuma killed her? But obviously... We have a notion of who is... Possibly the killer. Of course, not confirmed yet, but we have the notion. So, I mean, at first I did think it was Monokuma because he was the only one that had access to the room. Mm -hmm. Even though he says that he would never, ever, ever interfere with, you know, killing. He, he would never kill anyone. The only thing that he would do is kill someone if he was directly violated. So... So here's the billion dollar question. What oh what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Obviously you. Obviously you. After graduation, of course. With that one in the video cut off. What the hell? That, that wasn't real, right? So you're questioning if I was real, just the same as the other videotape for yourself. They're a super famous pop group, everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say that he was even able to get them? Is he trying to say... I'm sorry, th this sentence flunks me. If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. You would think... That's a very, very good question, Nick. If this was real, 
then yes, this would happen. But then again, could it possibly be a fabrication to give people motivation? Because you know, obviously, things can be faked. So, could it possibly be like a simulation, a fabrication, creation, cre cre creating this motivation? Interesting. What kind of person would take things this far, though? Um, well, you're assuming that Bonakuma is a person. You're assuming that. I guess the only thing left to do now is just to leave the area and talk to... <gasps> talk to you, Mondo! Because you're the first person I see. Listen to me. Do you have the second Mikado? I've uncovered something the most unusual. The daughter of everyone's dorm has a nameplate on it to show who's yes. You hear me? S well, it just so happens. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! No, 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 no! Sh you might be the killer yourself. I can't tell you anything. Got it. Forget everything. I forget everything I said. Forget. <laughs> forget me. <beam. laughs> forget beam. Sorry, just a little joke. Even I do jokes. Mondo, get out of here! Like, this, is, this is a serious time. It's not... It's not the best thing to joke about these things. So, please, like... Okay. Good talk. So, wait, should I head back into the gym? It would be interesting to see if this ever gets opened up, like maybe in chapter two, since I'm more since I'm still in chapter one. So maybe this could get opened up in another chapter two, maybe chapter three. I don't know, but that would be interesting. So should I try and talk to Chih I literally just remembered just this moment the ultimate programmer, of course, yes, Chihiro. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? Uh, um, what is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote that she wrote out the numbers one one zero three seven. Do you have any idea what those numbers could mean? Like, could they mean it be like a code or something like that? Mm. Hmm. S sorry, n n no. Shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I I just don't know. Okay, well th don't worry about it. Th thanks anyway for trying. Even she doesn't know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? I mean, it's entirely possible, but I don't exactly want to believe in that, you know? But it also could be possible. No, 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 couldn't be. Couldn't be. Okay, should we talk to you, hero, then? What do you have for us? Ugh, no way. I seriously don't want to die here. I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother of God, t t King Nepal, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! He doesn't seem to be prepared to do any kind of investigating my now. Sucks. Also, I've got to admit, this music is a little bit too loud. Like, should I? I don't know if I should reconfigure the settings or not, I don't know just yet. But, let's go back to the uh, main. Wait, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that's still um, locked. Well, it should be great to... We haven't been to the classrooms in a while. Maybe there's someone in there, maybe? Let's just take a look-see. Nobody. Okay, let's try the uh, other room then. Nobody? Oh, I was going to say nobody in here as well, but she just kind of fucking jump-scared me. Hello there, Toko. How you doing? <sighs> to, to kill someone? Just to save your own little life? I've been living with someone like that. I think I'm a vomit. But is what Minakuma said really true, though? Did one of us really kill Sayaka? I'm afraid so. I'm afraid so, Bonzo. <laughs> if the mastermind really was. <laughs> Gonna get involved. <laughs> they would would have just killed us on the day one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. But by the way, uh, how's your investigation going? 
I, I already said so. I, I, I don't do blood, so I don't plan on doing any investigation. I'm just gonna stay right here, just away from you lot, in case someone wants to murder me for some reason. Besides, I, I already know who did it. Oh yeah, obviously you're gonna point at me, duh. This is very suspicious. After all, where was I killed? In your room, right? What more proof do, do we need? We already know the tr 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 truth. She really doesn't trust me at all. Feck. Then again, we don't even need her trust anyway, like, to hell with her. I mean, I, I mean, everyone's, you know, valuable in their own way, but to hell with her, like, she doesn't trust me. Even though I've given her zero reason to not trust me, but also zero reason to trust me. And then again, have I given have have I given her much reason to trust me? That's a very very good question actually. But anyway, let's just let's just leave her alone for now, and let's talk to Bayakuya. How you doing, my son? Very strange. I don't even know why I called him my son anyway. But so, why was Sakura in your room when she was killed? Could it be because you are the culprit? No, 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 you got it all wrong, dude. So I can, and I just, you know, switched rooms last night. Hmm. Didn't even try to hide suspicion in his face. Hmm. Even if what you say is the absolute truth, you're still responsible for her death, wouldn't you say? She's responsible, not me. I, again, 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 I said it's perfectly fine to be sleeping in the same room, but she, she, she rejected it, so it was her responsibility, not mine, so you're technically not wrong, but you're also technically not right either. Huh? <laughs> After all. She wouldn't have died if she hadn't switched rooms of you, right? She switched rooms because someone tried to get into her room first of all. So she had a reason to switch rooms. The reason is uh, because I suggested we switch. Yeah, yes. She's because of. Me? No! No! Again! No! I mean, technically, yes, but no! No! Because of her! Even though I shouldn't really be saying that, it's still technically kind of true, though. Then, it should have been me that died? In a way. Yes. <laughs> well, all we're going to say right now is that it's a possibility. That's... If that's really true, then I... Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't exactly want to talk to you, Kennedy. Leon Kennedy. At this point, that joke is not even... To be fair, I only say Leon Kennedy, because I don't actually remember his surname. It was like... Kawadi, I think? Liam Kawadi, I think. I'm pretty sure. Kawadi. No, Kawada. All close anyway. But uh, yeah, I only said Kennedy because I couldn't remember his last name. But okay, let's just talk to you, I guess. Seems like. Something doesn't seem right. The Monica Mafala said Sarko was killed in your room. I just can't stop thinking about it. Could it be the nameplate? I mean, that is my question. Did the name get changed before or after? It's interesting. Ha wait, has it always been like that? Wait, what the f- Wait, 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 hang, wait, I'm- I'm conf- I'm- Has it always been like that? They're all taller than me, dude. Like, what the heck? I'm like, I'm like small, I'm like tiny. Has, has it always been like that? I've never really noticed. If it's always been like that, then oh my god, oh my god. The, the music is super ultra mega loud. Jesus Christ. 
Anyway. Ah, <sighs> hey, Fumi, what do you have for me? Mm-hmm. Very strange. <laughs> Mr. Nike, what was Miss Mazono doing in your room? Let me just say this. Most suspicious. I absolutely will not allow you to dispose of any evidence in the trash room. Do you really think I'm guilty? Well, I guess I'm just not gonna get the answer then. So you know what, let's go ahead and... I, I mean, I'm pretty sure that nothing's gonna change in here, but let's just go ahead and have a look. Okay. This is still locked, right? Yeah. Can I? Okay. Why can't I? It looks like some, uh, some kind of switch. I wonder what it does. Be you're gonna do fuck all with it? Jesus fucking Christ! Okay! Definitely, definitely a jump scare! <laughs> it's the end of the line! The trash room. This is where all the trash in this school eventually winds up. How do you. How do you get this gate open, dude? No, no, you can't go any further! No entry beyond this point. Only the person on cleaning duty is allowed in. But okay, who's on cleaning duty though? That's the question. No, no, you can't go any further. Uh... Who's on cleaning duty? No, no, you can't go any further. Oh, that's actually kind of scary. Not gonna lie, that's I don't like that. It's it's, it's like it's like a rope. So okay, here, here's my question. Here's my question. Is there a monokuma for every room? So there's a monokuma for our room, there's a monokuma for Sayaka's room, there's a monokuma for the main hall. Is that why that he said that there's like a multiple versions of him? Because there's a monokuma for every single room. Like, there's a monokuma for this room, and every single monokuma is like a robot that's got like a response system, and this is where it's responding with. Oh, that's weird. This is stupid, it'd be faster to just go around and ask the others. No, no, you can't go any further! Oh... That's... that just... oh, I... I hated that. I mean, I kinda like that, but I hated that. Oh, You know what? I'm gonna quickly save, because I don't... you know what? Because of these, like, sort of visual novel type games, like, I... Because it allows me to save, I'm just gonna save every single time I do an interaction, because... That's just me. Anyway, um, should we? Technically, we don't even have a reason to, but let's have a look. Girls bathroom of... <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look in here. Wait. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, that's interesting, that's... Okay, I want to test out something, so... Okay, let's go... I mean, we've, we've already been to the laundry before, but let's go back into the laundry. Huh. Every room we've been in so far gets sort of reconstructed, like, you know, the, the 3D environment gets sort of reconstructed when we load in. But what? Okay, so let's go back to the bathroom. It just fades in. There's no reconstruct- Even the trash room gets reconstructed. What is up with that? I mean, obviously, this has no bearing on the plot, the story, whatsoever. It's just a, a detail that I notice. It's such a strange detail. I don't even know why. Uh, but who, who do I ask? I could ask Kayoko. Even though, like, the only reason why I say Kayoko is because, you know, she's the soft girl. Even though she also questioned Monokuma.
Let's ask uh, Kyoko then. Wait, hang on. Wait. This room didn't get reconsh. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell me that she's in here. Don't tell me that she's in here. No, she's. I'm sorry, but where, 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 where is Kyoko? Where is she? She's becoming even more sus now. She could, could no, she can't be in my room. She no, uh, not my room, Saka's room. As I said, yeah, this gets reconstructed as well. So can I go in here? It's locked, isn't it? I can't let myself get pressed again. I need to search for clues. Nothing here. Okay, well, okay. Okay, so our mission right now is to try and find Kyoko then, because I've... Unless she's... No, I don't, I don't think she's back in her room. Ah, uh, Kyoko, Kyoko. Maybe she's in the... I mean, I don't think she's going to be in there, but... Let's just try in the dining room hall? Food hall? Okay, so Alwi is in here. Okay. Where could she be? I mean, we've got Celeste here. I guess we could talk to Celeste? We'll do that for now. Hey Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty stuff? Huh? C cleaning duty? Uh, what is that? <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea. Maybe you should ask Taka or someone else. Anyone but me, but me really. Okay. Uh, not a bad idea. So I'm still uh, trying to find... Wait. I've also got these. Okay, let's try this. So. Even this as well doesn't get reconstructed. So strange. Plus, I've, I've already... Kyoko was definitely not in the gym because it was only Chihiro and... Hero. So where's the... Where's okay, store? You 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 have to be in the you you have to. Not even in here. AV room. A there's, 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 you you have to you have to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. How the f how how? So she's just left like that and can't be found anywhere. I guess the only other place I can think of is her room then, but I'm I'm choosing to believe that her room is locked. Wait, and this This is Kyoko's room. Is there anything that will help me? I mean okay, yeah, that happens. So where is Where has she gone? I know she's gone to the... Because that's the only other place that we can't go into. So, um, so maybe she's gone to the bathroom for some reason. Well, then again, you know, people go to the bathroom to do their duties, you know? So, um, right. Okay. Um, Taika. Where's Taika? You know what, everyone? I just realised. <laughs> this is Taika. And I call him Mondo. And Mondo's in my room. Oh my god, that's funny. Right, okay. Taika. Clean duty, eh? As a matter of fact, Monokuma came and talked to me yet. Okay? You're mentioning that now because I talked about cleaning duty? Okay. Really? Listen to me! He probably realized I was basically in charge. So he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now. That's wrong. Uh, uh, uh actually, no. Uh, okay, so who is then? <laughs> he for me was also there when I had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I don't. I wonder why he volunteered. Okay, so he's on cleaning duty then. Okay. Count on it. Indeed, 
The rules are also passed on, wic on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. And when the time comes, I'll be counting on you. Okay, so, here for me, here we go. Alright, here for me, why are you on Clean Jersey? Why did you volunteer? Was it because it was just a great opportunity, or was there a hidden agenda behind it all? Um, um I'm looking for whoever's on Clean Jersey. Clean Jersey? Cleaning duty. As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens. A man came and talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on clean duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> so I formally applied for this position. Hmm. I was going to start this morning, but after what happened, I, had my, I haven't had the chance to get started. And since you're on the clean duty, you can open the gate in the front of the trash room? <laughs> of course! It's my, do it's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the keys to the trash room gate. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get into the trash room? And only the person on clean duty has access to the key? So what's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so we can all throw things out whenever... Logic! Logic! That does seem to be more convenient. So, in other words... Actually... Anyone who... So this is more convenient for the killer than anyone. So that's it. Mm-hmm. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. Thrill would disappear and things would become boring. B boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, you bastard. Hey, fatty. Why'd you want to clean and do the gig anyway? Oh, um. I just decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal anyway? You. L liar. I know why you did it. Is it? Like you want to dig for all the girls' trash looking for, you know. And poking around at it. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> what are you talking about? All my life is for two dimensional stuff. You know what I mean. But there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to. I would never get tired of two dimensional stuff. After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. To be fair, I'm kind of the same. 3D is, you know, pretty nice. But 2D is where all of the magic happens. I mean, this is in 2D, so. The only, th the only thing 3D is good for is to show a shower of love and affection on... Okay. Oh, um, I play versus character. Is that what it is? Play versus computer. I don't know what that means, but okay. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Dude, embrace being a nerd sometimes and shut the fuck up. If you're so worried about hearing me is questionable morality, there's a very easy solution. Whenever a guy is cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them from picking up the trash to disposing of it. Oh, uh, oh yeah, because she's got the muscle, of course. <laughs> what? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, then where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to. Anyway, on another topic. For me, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask of you. Mm-hmm. What? So now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from my past trauma or save a village or a bit of bus. No, uh, nothing like that. Uh, I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around, you know? You oh, 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 okay. So easy. <laughs> so here for me and I headed down to the trash room. Alright, here we go, people. Let's see how this goes.
You'd like me to open the game uh, gates, wouldn't you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. He learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. What the fuck are you talking about? Get busy living or get busy dying, he said. So him and Rita... What? 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 What the fuck are you talking about? Whatever, just please hurry the fuck up. Okay, okay, leave it to me. I mean, I get that you're a nerd and all of that stuff, and it's really, really nice being a nerd. But yeah, just, just, just don't talk about that again, please. Let <laughs> me pull the key out of his pocket and use it to flip the switch, and then. Mr. Naegi. Uh. Without a doubt. Surely you aren't planning to use a trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You, 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 you fiend! You planned this all along! No, 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 no! How dare you even think that? I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. But the actual killer is you, isn't it? You wanted to see if you left anything behind. What? Wait! Let me a I'm confused. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. Well, first of all, um, before literally anything else, let's go ahead and uh, save our game. Nicely done. Right. We have literally just two items. Oh, okay. This is the incinerator. It's way in the back part of the trash room. Y yes, it is. Thank you for the observation. It's a good 30 feet. Thank you for the other observation. And it's some... Okay... Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow button? Yes, I do! It's a pretty simple setup, you press... Okay, thank you very much for telling me here for me, I couldn't figure this shit out myself. Sooner or later, you'll be cleaning duty, so make sure you learn this. Uh, I mean, it's, a it's an extremely simple thing to figure out, so. Thank you anyway. Huh? Someone turned the incinerator around? Very strange. I'm quite certain it was laugh. Off the last time I was down here. Perhaps there was the work of a fair. Uh. Pretty sure it wasn't. Hear from me. Do you realize what you just said? Huh? Huh? The fairy? No. You said the last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> hmm. About that, there can be no mistake. If I've got one thing, got, uh, memories can be fragile sometimes. I mean, trust me, I would know. I feel as if. <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely was not on then. So I had to do that voice because it did the voice. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open up the gate. Most suspicious. It should be impossible for the incinerator to be on. And yet. So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without putting... I was gonna think Monokuma, but then, but, then, but, then, but then again, if there's a Monokuma for every room, then the Monokuma wouldn't switch it on. Oh, this, I, 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 you know what? I don't even know what to think at this point. But how is that even possible? Hmm. Can I switch it off though? That's the question. Green button turns on. So it seems anyway. Okay. Well. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You've. Are we seriously going back through this again? Is there anything else in this room that? Oh. Oh. I did. Okay. Something on the ground.
I mean, this. Oh. Sleeve, isn't it? Right? Sleeve. Because that's the blood from Sarka's sleeve. Wait, 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 no, wait. I need, I need to go back to Sarka's, uh, I need to go back to the body to see if, um, the sleeve is there. If it's not, then this is it. If, it, if the sleeve is there, then this must be someone else's. Huh. Everyone pays like a hunk? Uh, like a hunk of burning love? Yeah, he's not gonna have any input. This is... Cloth in the shape. What I say, I'm not good to take it. <laughs> I mean, the fact that I figured it out, just from this, that's actually kind of impressive, not gonna lie. Now that I look at it, uh, uh, which means... Yep. Lots of people here with white button shirts. This isn't enough to figure out who the killer is. Mm-hmm. So what about this st uh, stuff, though? Shards of broken glass. I don't... Looks like there used to be some kind of glass ball, just about big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that... Do you know where this could be? Mm -hmm. It's safe you collect all seven. I do um, Kidding aside, it's the kind of thing that you might see on a big city street. Okay. Get into it and it will show you a glimpse of the... Eight ball, right? Or something like that. Just like that Mina girl who was on that quest to... Oh my god. Is he gonna be anything but references to video games? I mean... As much as I love your nerdy side, dude, your references to video games is really, really not needed in a situation like this. Well, I get what you're trying to say, but who did this particular ball belong to? It's only one person it could be. They should all still be in the... What, Junko? Is that what you're talking about, Junko? Or someone else? This whole thing is quite strange indeed. When I was here last, the uh, glass shirts. Wait, when I was here last, the incinerator was off, and those glass shirts and burnt clamps weren't. What? Weren't what? <laughs> what does this all mean, Mr. Nagy? What did you be confessed? Shush, dude. Finally. Everyone knows that you did it. All the mysteries are being solved by uh, one by one. Sounds like he's living out of his comic book fantasies. Indeed. Not gonna lie, I'm so glad to be out of there because Hifumi is probably my least favourite character. Even though he's like, you know, nerdy and stuff like that and I can relate to it. Just the way he expresses his personality in this situation, just not my favourite character in the slightest. So we're gonna go back to... Okay, you guys are still here. We're gonna go back to this room, and we're gonna uh, look at Saka's uh, body once again, and see if the sleeve is still there. If it is still there, then... Wait... Wait! Okay, so it definitely was not her then. It's not, it's not hers. The killer. The killer had blood on his. Hers. Theirs. Whatever. Look, the, the killer had blood on theirs. And... They tried to get rid of... Their sleeve. But failed. Possibly. Maybe. Interesting. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try and talk to Sakura just for a bit. See what uh, she has to say. Sakura, do you think I'm guilty to- wait. Hey. Oh, here we go again. What about you, Mondo? What do you- do you, do you have something to say? Away. Guard duty. Alright, so the same thing. Oh wait, hang on a minute. Our objective was to go back to the gym, wasn't it? Yeah, that's what our objective was. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go back to the gym. Oh wait, hang on a minute. This also just fades in. No reconstruction. That's so weird. Right, anyway. So, Okay, 
Should we look at her body again? I don't know what this is going to achieve for us, but let's just do it. Uh, okay. Touch her wrist. She, yep, okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, Jira, then. I mean, we're in the gym, so... Uh, okay. Ask you something. Huh? Oh, left a message, right. And I'm guessing that Hero is going to say the same thing, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, um. Wait, hang on. What? Huh? M Makoto, what, what are you doing here? What? Does this look familiar? Uh, <gasps> that's my crystal ball! But it's not smashed! What the hell? What the heck? I'm going to put it because the guy said it was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. Wow. So, how's the break? What? What? Was it actually just made of glass? And no crystal? Did that guy totally dupe me? Uh. He, said it was he said it belonged to the pillars of history. Stuff like that. He said whoever controlled the crystal ball controlled the world. Was that seriously obvious? Yes. Um, let's just put that aside for now. So you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um. um, yes, that, that's mine for sure. I've already forgot uh, it's in the laundry room last night. Someone must have uh, combined and snatched it. Laundry room. You left it in the laundry room? That means anyone could have found it and taken it. Mmm, laundry room. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted to know. Uh, um. Uh, sure. Um, by the way, I'm also afraid to ask, but how did you pay for that thing? Uh, Everything I saved up from fortune telling for two full years. You did fortune telling for two years? Dang. Came out to be like a million. A, a million? Uh, um, That's pretty cheap actually. I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world. That's just... <sighs> okay. Oh, would you look at that, Tucker's... Not gone. All right, we've made it to the laundry room now. So, um, are we gonna be checking each and every single one of these? I, I guess we are. Washing machine. Uh, washing machine has that has none. Okay. I'm at least just gonna be checking each and every single one of them. The thing is, though, if it's just a washing machine and nothing to do with the case, then why can I interact with each and every single one of them? a bit, uh, oh, I never interacted with this before, have I? The vending machine is still there, so it doesn't have any way of help, uh, helping, okay. What about this, then? Magazines, I, no, no help. I mean, he did say washing machine, but a laundry room. This is one of the monitors, Monica Moo appears on right now, she's showing the school crest. Don't even want to think about, uh, Okay, what about this camera then? Okay, here's the idea. We're not allowed to move with the cameras. Well, I don't know then. Should I just go back to Mondo then? Because I was thinking about maybe going back to Taka. But did we already talk to Taka about this? I don't remember. So, Mondo, do you have anything for us? Away. Don't you... You know what, at this point it feels like I'm not even progressing one bit now. Baku, yeah, can I talk to you? Do you have anything for me? Very strange. Ah, uh, okay. You're welcome. So it's literally like... The, the exact same things. I kind of wish, you know, we get different dialogue. Here's the thing though. If you've already gone through the dialogue, why is it allow you to go through the dialogue again. Shouldn't it say like, oh, haven't you already talked to me already, or, I don't know. Uh, the fact that we've just done different things, and this exact same dialogue, who the hell can I talk to then? I'm guessing it's going to be the same with Leon, right? Seems like... Monokuma file, nameplate, ah, uh -huh, okay. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing with Tucker, right? Tucker, what do you have for me? I've uncovered something. Yeah. There's nobody I can talk to then. Nobody whatsoever who I can talk to. Right. Have I got anything new? Okay, so I've got... Okay. 
So I've got all of that. So, door frame was difficult to open due to not quite fitting in the door frame properly. Only two people who knew were Makoto and Saka. So, completely removed. Dorm norm, uh, d dorm norm plates. I nearly said that dorm. Oh my god. Okay. Trash duty. Uh, it's blocked off by a 30 gate. Uh huh. Anything for us? Uh, do you have any clues or anything? <laughs> uh, let's just agree that we do not know who the culprit is and never have that. Whatever secrets I may have, I don't intend on revealing anything until. Do you have any suggestions for where I should start looking? Well. Uh, I'm actually fumble around. <laughs> I suppose it wouldn't hurt to give you a little hint. Scene of a crime, naturally, but I think the trash room is what's... Trash. <laughs> However, there was one little problem. As for me... I would rather die than set foot in there. <laughs> I'm just a new... Okay, but we've already been in the trash room. We've already been at the, at the crime of the scene. The scene of the crime. <sighs> you know what? A part of me wished that this was a little bit like your turn to die. Where we've got items. We can give the items to those characters. To show that we've already been to these places. But no! What's very, very likely then. Is that I'm probably just going to have to end off this video without chapter 2 starting. Because, oh my... Actual god. And I must admit, I am starting to enjoy Danganronpa a little less at the moment. <sighs> because I think this, this, this entire thing, this entire, this entire section is all about investigating. And I've already investigated, it's just knowing what to do next. And the fact that these characters just give me the exact same huh? dialogue, it's just so annoying. To be fair, I could try Aoi, because I don't think I've tried her yet in a while. Hina. I, I refer to her as Aoi, not Hina, but okay. Are you investigating the dining hall? Hmm. Oh no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is a f uh, first for me, you know? I don't have a first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me calm down. So I know I shouldn't, but I've been... I've just been kind of hanging around here, you know? To tell the truth, I was going to... I was doing the same thing last night when... Oh, you were taking a break whilst... Saka was getting... Fighted, murderer did. Oh, oh wait! I completely forgot that we had a kitchen here. Anyone in here? Of course, nobody would be in here. I don't know why I thought anyone would be in here, but too big. Looks like right. Was it missing? You know what? I can't even remember, but I'm gonna assume that uh, it was recently taken because you know it's in Saka now. Better see if anyone knows more about it. Okay, well we've got that now. Great. Aoi, could you possibly have something? Could you possibly have any information? Did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, and now I've just suddenly disappeared like that? Oh, so, it wasn't missing from the beginning? That's right. Nope, that's how I remember they were all lined up in a neat, neat, nice, neat row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. Last night. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were t drinking your tea in the dining hall? Mm. Yeah, unfortunately. In other words, you were right there in the dining hall when someone came and took it. 
then you should be able to say for sure you can tell everyone. I didn't come into the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. <laughs> I love how we've taken a photo of her like that. Okay. Um. Hey, by the way, did you... No! <laughs> of course not, I would never. Do you really think I murdered her? Really? Because, I mean... Well, she, uh, she was in your rooms. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys were supposed to be friends, right? But... On the other hand, two people becoming good friends and one killing the other is a classic... Yeah. But, don't think about that. So when you consider everything together... Aww. What is the likelihood of two friends... One of them killing the other one? What's the likelihood of that, hmm? Like, actually think about it for a second. Ah, okay, let me guess, trial begins now? Or is it night time? Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? <gasps> Dude, it's been how long? <laughs> okay, tired of waiting now, okay. It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Yay! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Okay. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. It's about fucking time that we go. So that's. So that is where the class trial is held. Through the red door. <laughs> See you soon! See you soon. The red door on the first floor. That's where I should go. No, where I have to go. <laughs> Why does it just teleport me to here? Okay, thank you, game. I'm gonna save real quickly. This music, this track. Are you still? No, everybody's going to the class trial. Understood. Okay, well here we go then. You're alone, Makoto. We've all been waiting for you. <laughs> mm, I bet you were afraid you would be discovered as the <laughs> murderer you are. Listen to me! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Save that for the class trial. Then we can reveal all the details of Makoto's crime. They really are convinced I did it. Because their heads are just f so full of shit. They just think, oh, we were in the same room together, so I must have murdered her. Without thinking of all the possibilities, you know, we're such good friends. They know how much of a good friend we have been towards each other. But no, they just think, oh, because we've, you know, shared a room that I've obviously murdered her. Obviously. I mean, I know that the evidence is kind of obvious in a way, but these people lack proper thinking. It's just so telling. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Me and Saka both know that all two... Yeah, it's, it's, it's no good her knowing because she's already dead. Then, who is the killer? My money is kind of on Leon still. That's, that, that's still my theory. I, 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 could be all, I could be wrong for all I know. And I think I might be wrong. But my theory is still Leon. I don't know why, but my theory is Leon. The one who murdered Sayaka. Oh, that was me talking. The one who murdered Sayaka. Is it really one of us? Yes. Oh my god. Do you need this battered into your head already? Jesus Christ. <laughs> is everyone here? Okay then, please board the elevator in front of you, which will transport you to the courtroom. I'm getting so many you know, to, to die vibes from this already. Where all your favorites.
fates will be decided. Yay. <laughs> I'll meet you all down there. I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay, I'll talk to them, sure. Got it. Relax. I haven't decided 100% that you're the culprit just yet. Maybe. But you're obviously leaning that way, though. <laughs> well, did you find out anything that might actually prove your innocence? Well, we found something. Well then, the time has finally come. Are you ready? What the heck? I can't help but wonder whoever, what whoever killed. I can't help but wonder what whoever killed Saka is feeling right now. Probably feeling nervous for uh, for being caught out. To be fair, being so insistent, even though you obviously killed her. <laughs> Very impressive. All right, Leon. You know what I mean. Well, I did. <laughs> you did not. You did not. You did not. Don't, uh, do not spark my theory right, don't. I'm counting on the rest of you to f from here on out. <sighs> so, this skull basement has become the darkened stage. <laughs> We're all here to bear witness, to bear witness to Mr. Naiki's final curtain call. Uh, I'm sorry. In the end, I wasn't able to do any looking around or anything. Is this really how Zaka would want us to find out who killed her? Oh, I'm so sorry, Tuchihiro. Let's get started. She's just completely ready for it. Hey! There's no point in standing around here. This is how you'll evolve and step into the future. Alright, Zakura. Impossible. Damn, we've really got to go through with this class trial thing, huh? You know? If you want to confess, I guess now's the time to do it. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. What? So whoever what? stuck us in here, even to the time to set up that goddamn courtroom, huh? Apparently so. Alright, here we go then. I guess I have no other choice but to get on this elevator. Well then, let us begin. Yes. Good indeed. idea. Hey. Are you scared? Me? Scared of what? Because I didn't do it. The one who should be scared is Leon. But yeah, not me. No, 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 no. Scared isn't quite how you would describe me. Makoto. I said it before. But it's up to you to uncover the mysteries surrounding this case yourself. If you don't, you will never come to grips with the truth. I need to uncover, yes. I didn't need to. I didn't need. I mean, you, 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 yeah, okay, you're right. You, you didn't need someone else to tell you that for you. And Saka's honor. I swear I'll find out who the real killer is. As I raised my voice to try and give myself courage, I turned, trembling with anticipation, toward the elevator. With each step forward, I could feel my heart starting to race faster and faster. Everyone else was already on the ele elevator when I... <laughs> to be fair... Okay. I guess we are sort of anxious about this because everybody, everybody seems to think that we are the murderers. So, because we are in the spotlight, I can understand that we are very anxious for this trial. Doors closed and the elevator started to move. The steel box descended with heavy clunking sounds towards the school's basement. I wonder if this is how a death row intimate. I wonder if this is how a death row inmate feels when his time finally comes. Oh. Rather than that, is it not more like a defendant waiting to receive his judgment? Oblivious to our shared anxiety, the elevator lowered us further and further into the bowels of the school. Yeah. 
You finally arrived! What do you think? Doesn't it feel just like a real courtroom? It's like a Hollywood movie set, right? Ugh, shit. Not even close. It's total shit. Well now. Okay, okay, everybody. Find your senses and sit down. Yeah. Hurry up now, hurry up! We did ways I didn't find our seats. The seats were arranged in a giant circle. It was set up so everyone could see everyone else. <sighs> Which also meant it'd be easy for anyone to transfer their attention and unease onto anyone else. The air seemed to grow heavy as we sat there. And so, the curtain on our world first case opened. A deadly judgement. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defence. A... Basically just deadly everything. A deadly... Clash trial. <laughs> uh... Yes, thank you! I've not had one of those for ages. But okay. What the? Ah, uh, what? Okay, pre-trial prep. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to look at these. Okay, well, we have that. Um, we also have this as well. Two main important ones. Okay. Set skills. Okay, what set skills? Um, I've got, yeah, I've got no skills. Increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. Effective during the bullet, bullet time battle. What, this battle's gonna be slowed down, is it? <laughs> what? But increases damage to the opponent when a statement is destroyed. I am so confused. Finish preparations, sure. All right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. Okay. Oh. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. The one that deceived. So, okay, we picked the right one, so they'd be punished, so, put, so most likely dead. But if we pick wrong, then the one that done it will graduate and everyone else dies. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course! Okay then, everyone close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. Why is your face jittering like that? That's a bit strange. Also, I must admit, I'm still not used to, like, voice accent sometimes, so I just... Okay, this, this is gonna go fantastic, everyone. Don't be a goddamn idiot. Why the hell would they raise their hand? Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? Um, it's the deceased, like a memoriam. I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship penetrates even death's barrier. That's... Strange? I don't know how I feel about that. Friendship penetrates? 
okay, but what about that other empty seat? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Oh, no reason. It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people. Okay, that about does it for the preamble. Get ready to get started. First up is the case summary. Now, let the class trial begin. It's about to begin the debates to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I've found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me, it's about everybody. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-debate... No, your, your, your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? E yes? As things progress during each clash trial, you will engage in a number of non-stop debates. During those discussions, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions, but oh my god. Oh my god, it, you know what? <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm going to try my best not to compare each and every single time, but I can't help but compare to the other game that I've been comparing to. <laughs> so, oh god, this is... Okay, what this means is you will have to use your truth bullets to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you found during your investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. <sighs> Play the, pay, pay close attention to each character statement and use your truth bullets to blast the right ones. Know that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail. If you you good luck. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Something's off about what Okay. If Saika hasn't resisted at all, there's no explanation for what happened to my room. For the first debate, we, I would like to take a quick sidebar. If you're unable to spot and refute someone's lies or contradictions, the argument will repeat. Within a, some words will appear different colour. What? The truth bullets are only effective against this. What? I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. Yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that... The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. Okay. Wait, you... I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sayaka Maizono. <laughs> yeah, we know that part already. Well, and the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that... Oh, wait, I'm, I'm, what is going, what the, what is going on? 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 Influence gauge, if you choose the wrong statement, or truth, you will take damage if... By holding down the space key, you will, you can concentrate and slow down the passenger. I thought that was... 
bit of time. Now it makes sense. I thought I thought that was the control key though, not the. Okay, this will consume your focus, Gale. Uh, you can't concentrate with this. Uh, I must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. <laughs> was Miss Sayaka my zono? Uh, yeah, we know that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. In the bathroom. So it seems most likely that the killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. I'm so confused about every single thing that's going on. This, this, 